What's good, sports gamers? And welcome back to episode four of my my gym with the Philadelphia 76ers. And actually, if you notice, my record is a little different. I kind of messed up and lost all the footage from the last one. But thankfully, it was mostly cutscenes introducing the new owner. As I only went, I probably went simmed about three games or four. I actually beat the Warriors though. See? But yeah, most of it is me them introducing me to the new owner and he basically saying I'm not gonna get fired so let's get to it <laughs> and I hear you guys I'm definitely gonna start playing the actual games instead of Simmons starting with the next vid episode 5 and hopefully I can catch up to the actual sixes and games play once they hit the all-star break and I can start working on folks only averaging nine points a game I mean what is that but well, one of the things that was constant in my last ghost recording I was says Dario Sarge wants playing time. But sadly, I cannot give that to him as he plays the same position as Ben Simmons. And Robert Covington is a small forward. But he doesn't want to be the sixth man, so I wanna I wanna I wanna keep him. He's asked to, he's he's kind of hinting that he wants to get traded, but I want to keep him. But it looks like we're going to have to monitor the situation. Uh, where is this? Yeah, I'm feeling unsatisfied about how things are around here. It's getting to the point where if I want to feel bad, I arrange a meeting. What? Yeah, odds are they're going to make me, they're going to force me to trade Dario Sarge. But I don't want to because he's the homie. But if I have to... I could use an upgrade at shooting guard. I'm just saying. All right, so let's get it. The owner was kind of nice, though. He had a little Sam Hinky to him. He 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 wants to introduce me to this analytics guy. Oh wait, is it? Hey, Chris. I just thought I'd bring to your attention that it doesn't feel like we're pushing the guys hard enough at practice. They're all super rested, and we're sacrificing our ability to improve and progress. You see. Because Ben Sim, no, JJ Reddick came in and complained that we were working him too hard, and now the trainer says we're not working him enough. So, which is it? I'll have the trainers handle it and see what happens here. Can you please take care of this, Ryan? I have other things that do. Oh, that sounded way too. Uh uh. I want to be a man of the people. What is that? All right, I'll step up the intensity at practice so they're ready to give 110% during games. All right, they'll start. They're gonna start complaining. All right, here's the new owner. Let's see. Okay, draft stuff. I talked to our scouting department yesterday, and I mean, some of the stuff they were saying. It's a very impressive class. From what they're telling me, Impressive doesn't even begin to cover it. They're talking 03 level of production. Where, what are the names again? LeBron, Wade. Oh, they talking about uh, Staples, Baldwin, and Petrovic. But I'm not going to get a top 10 pick. Do I? Yeah, I have the Lakers. I'll check that out. That's right, that's right. Now, I'm sure you know this, but everything we've got on these guys is fantastic. Their NBA comps are just, they're amazing, Chris. Steven's got all their numbers adjusted for age, level of competition, home away splits, player type, even the balls that they use. Apparently there are some pretty big differences and it's nothing short of astonishing. I watched a lot of film too, I'm, and man, there's, they say good players pop on film and these three explode, they're in a different class. They're gonna make me trade to get a top three pick, aren't they? I know it! Like I said, they're all very impressive, sir. Please, Bob. Right, Bob. So look, I know you're doing pretty well this year. We're having a pretty nice season, but that's all it is, nice. I didn't get into this thing to have a nice team, Chris. I want rings. I think our fans deserve it. You want to move us to Seattle? Now, the ship's probably sailed on us getting one of these guys with our own pick. Thank you. I know that. But I need you to get creative here. I want the next LeBron. 
I want somebody who can drag us to the finals year after year, surrounded by a bunch of wide players. And I want you to do whatever it takes to get that guy. Nothing's off the table here, you understand? See, this is, this is what I don't like about set, set scripts. Like, if I was using the Bulls, this would make sense that he would say something like this. But I got Embiid, Ben Simmons, and the ghost of Markel Foles. I mean, we got three stars already. What does he want me? See, look, he just said nothing's off the table here. I'm not trying to be. Uh, sounds good to me. I'm not trying to get fired. Wow, they really... It's too early to go for a top. It's way too early. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a top three pick when we're like a month into the season. Hello, Sir Walker. I like that, Sir Walker. <laughs> I have our report ready for the prospects we've scouted. Do you wish to look at them? I had them look at all the shooting guards since Redick is, is our best one and he's kind of old. The report. Okay, we got Brian Goodrich, 23, J.R. Rogers, Deion Holloway. Ceiling. His ceiling is DeAndre Liggins. Here's a Gerald Green bench. Oh, Eric Gordon. So maybe I wanna so maybe I wanna put all my focus into Brian Goodrich. Wait, was he one of the three the dude was talking? No, I don't think he was. Joe Harris, David Wingate, Joe Harris. So all their comps are white guys who can shoot. Gotcha. All right. I appreciate the information. Thanks, that's what I'm here for. What prospects should we target with my next visits? Uh, how about shooting guards again? Will that give me more information? Give me a new shooting guard. What round of quality level of talent should we focus on? Uh, let's do second round this time. Find prospects that will be available in the second round. I should have the next report ready for your review in a few weeks. Oh, we got blown that way. James, Michael McAdoo, Canabria. Return play to G League. Yeah, send him to the G League. Jacob Pullen, send him to the G League. Whoa, we got smashed by Detroit. Uh-oh. JJ Reddick has suffered an injury. Pulled right calf. That's funny. He's hurt in real life right now, too. He'll be out for one to two weeks. All right, so let's put Luau in there. He can't play through this injury, and we'll get you updated in case his status gets upgraded. Um, adjust rotations. So take his minutes. Let's give Luau about thirty. All right, let's give Sarik some more minutes. So shut up. Get a homie Holmes. All right. Thanks for bringing this to my attention. Okay, I will monitor JJ Reddick's progress and let you know if anything changes. Thanks. Oh, we went right to the, another cutscene. Who was that? We're all here now. Who was that? <laughs> That's a nice hoodie, though, dog. Brett, why don't you start? Morning, everyone. I think we can keep this pretty short. I know we're all got busy schedules. So Timothy missed practice yesterday, and I'm not, how should I say this? I'm not exactly thrilled with his response. Why is all my players disgruntled? What I want from you is, well, I want to make it perfectly clear that this sort of thing is unacceptable, and I want to make sure it never happens again. Pretty cut and dry. I just made him the starter! Oh, that's who that is standing. Timothy, why don't you tell me what happened? I just gave you minutes, dog. Now you want to act up? Look at that hoodie. 
Oh, I'm sorry. It's like this, Mr. Walker. Practice is at 11 o'clock when we don't have a game. Always. But this practice, they moved it up to 930. 930. It's not that I can't get there at 930. I'm a pro. You know that. But man, what can I say? You get used to a thing. It changes. Sometimes you just mess up. You know, it wasn't intentional. Uh, I can't see. You got the owner and the coach in front. I can't. I'll let you slide, Tim, but they they looking, you know? You got one job, Timothy. One job. And that's giving everything you got to this organization. There's no in-betweens to it. Practices at 11? Sure, most days. But not every day. And you know that. Yeah, hey, look at his eyes. We gave everyone that calendar app. Pre-populate to specifically avoid this kind of situation. We even put it on your phone for you. You got the app, right? Sure I did. I'm just saying it wasn't intentional. I. How hard is it to open an app every night before you go to bed? It takes 10 seconds and these guys live on their phones. It's not like we're asking them to lug around some binder or something. It's right there in their pocket. There's no excuse. If you're telling me you can't do something as simple as open an app, you're telling me you're not willing to give me your all. And I can't have that. Won't have that. Not on my tip. Wow, am I going to have to trade, buddy? All right, I think we got enough information here. Everyone, everything else you think we should know, gentlemen? Anything else you think we should know, gentlemen? What do you want to do about this? What? Man, everybody in the room. Why can't we just have a private conversation? Okay, that's fine, and that's, that's the more sensible move. Okay, well, I don't think we need to make a bigger deal out of this than it is. Seems like you're sorry to me, Timothy. So here's what we're going to do. $5,000 fine. You miss another practice, the fine goes up. Now, you better not miss practice without telling Coach Brown, but that's what it is. We good here? Well, that's fair. I, gu I guess... All I'm saying is you won't have to call me in here again. I'm good. We're all good. Good. Wait, well, he agreed with me. Why is more I'll go down? Blew out the Lakers. Ooh. <laughs> uh oh. Should I do it? Should I do it? Ah, Kimba. I can get the Kimba. Folks is averaging like nine points a game on 30 minutes. They messed they mess up his shots in the season. You know, no, no. It's not, we ain't going out like that. Congratulations, you reached level six. Uh, wait, what? I'll take the staff trash. All right. That was on. Uh, Chris, take a seat. You want to do that? What? <laughs> a do neck is a donut cross with a cupcake. You haven't heard of it? Huge craze right now. My assistants had to wait in line three hours this morning. What is with y'all owners in these food? Six do nakes limit per customer. I just ate, thanks. They're not that great to be honest. They're fine, I guess. I just don't know if they're waiting in line three hours. Fine. All right, enough about do nakes. I wanted to talk to you about something that's pretty important to me. You're not moving to Seattle? Shoot. You know I have a son, right, Chris? Sure do. You haven't met him yet, have you? I don't think so, no. His name's Andrew, named after my old man. He's a good kid, too. Smart, hard worker, a little headstrong sometimes, but ultimately a real sweetheart. So here's the thing. Anything Andrew puts his mind to, he gets after. He's a real attack dog, and he needs a little direction. He's tried a couple of different career paths, finance, artisanal, no bread making, what? Real estate, but none of them grabbed him by the heart. None of them were a true calling. You understand what that's like, Chris? 
It's been a while since I had any doubt about my calling, but sure, Bob. Everyone else go. Everyone goes through that when they're young. I do you understand? I think part of the problem, to be honest, is that he's never had a real mentor. I do my best to guide him as a father, but I don't know the first thing about Big Brick. <laughs> that makes two of us. But I was thinking, you know, he's always been just as passionate about the 76ers as I've been. He may not get everything from me. He's got his mom's eyes, but I definitely groomed him right in the fan department. So anyway, we were talking over dinner the other night, and he told me he liked to be involved with the team. I was skeptical I was skeptical at first. He doesn't have the experience, first of all, but then I thought, so what? Nobody's born with experience. You got experience you get experience by doing. Dang, is that easy? And I'm not just saying this because he's my kid, but Andrew's as smart as they come. Finished in the top of his class in high school, went to Cornell, graduated with a dual major in English and American studies. What I'm saying is I think if he has the right person to guide him, the right person to harness his energy and show him what it takes to be to perfect your craft. I think he can flourish. And I think you're that person, Chris. I see. So what I want to do is I want to make Andrew your assistant GM. Assistant G? You just... Ugh. He'll be your apprentice, basically. There's no one better to learn from than someone at the top of their profession, and that's you. How did he... Now, this isn't some legacy case. He's not going to sit around twiddling his thumbs. I want him actively involved in the decision-making process. I want him bringing insight and attention to detail to everything we do. He'll work closely with Steven and the analytics department, of course. But you know, if this thing works out the way I think it will, it'll make your life easier, ultimately. It'll be someone you can trust, someone whose opinion you can rely on. It'll be like having an extension of yourself that you can send out to the world to help you run a team. So what do you think? <laughs> I want to be like, nah, chill, bro. Uh, I don't like. Uh... Ooh, do I want to be like, nah, your son can kick rocks. I'll be happy to. I don't like this idea. I'll be happy to mentor Andrew. For one thing, we can always use that extra pair of hands around him. And I always say that family comes first. Did you know I worked with my dad growing up, Bob? I did not. What'd he do? He owned a butcher shop. Nasty work butchering, but not for me. Not for me, but I'll never forget the lessons I learned there. Hard work, attention to detail, respecting your tools and your materials. It was good for me, and I'm sure it'll be good for you. For it was, dang, I can't read. And I'm sure it'll be good for Andrew to be around his father more. Fantastic. I knew you'd be on board. I put everything in motion to get him to set up ASAP. I wonder if I said no, he'll just be like, well, screw you. I just have him. I actually should have said no. Phone call with Bob. Chris, Bob here. I asked around a little. I'm hearing you haven't contacted anyone about acquiring any of those draft picks. You promised me, Chris, don't promise me something if you don't plan on delivering. I told you when we first met, I don't mind dissent, but I absolutely will not tolerate dishonesty. Oh, my God. If you don't want to do it, you should have said something. I'm someone who takes a man at his word. Don't prove to me that I can't trust you, Chris. I can't abide that. Uh, I got to... Oh my god. Alright, who has the worst record in the league? The Bulls. Alright, let's see what uh I can get from the Bulls. How you go drop it? Top three potatoes. <laughs> Oh, I could do a swap. Yeah, hold up, dog. I forgot I have my own. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Let's see what it can cook up. I don't like how. Wait, no, I want the bulls. 
Wait, see, I don't like the language on that. Wait, am I getting a pick? 2018 first round pick, Bulls. Swap worst with the Sixers. Wait, no, I'm not getting a pick. I want it unprotected. See, I love that they put like details and offers in the game like this. But... Nah, they trying to get me. Well, who else is in here? The Bucks, Heat, and Kings. Alright, what can I get? Bucks. See, look at these tri oh I could take the salary for that pick oh I could trade Sarge I don't want to trade the homie nope all right so we got a uh, I take on Deladova's contract Oh, that's not even this year. See, I wanna, I wanna rob him. Sarge in two seconds. Uh, see, I gotta trade Sarge because I'm not gonna start him, and he's he's gonna keep asking for more playing time. And I get that. Uh, I had to do it. Ah. Hi Chris, we should adjust the roster after your latest move. Would you rather do it yourself or have the coach take care of it? I'll do it. Folks with the Wawu, I really traded the homie. I traded the homie. Alright, that's good. I've taken care of it. Thank you for the update. Thanks for reviewing and integrating the new players. Plus one more, I traded the homie. Oh, I gotta sit down and process this. Uh. Sorry. And with that heartbreaking trade, I think I'm gonna end it right here, people. So be on the lookout for episode five and how the Sixers can move on from the Dario Sarge trade. And stay tuned here at Sports Gamers Online for more NBA 2K18 content. So subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss anything we put out. I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching. And be good, y'all. Sorry!